Oh, there's an input signal. Wait, no, 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 no. I was flabbergasted. So this is Juma, and uh, he's brought his uh, PC, which is not posting, correct, Juma? Yeah, it's not posting. So we're going to be testing it, and this is, what case is this? The MSI Vampiric. Okay, MSI Vampiric O10, and uh, I believe you've got an i3 in there, 9100F, yeah? and uh, MSI motherboard. All right, so what was the main issue? Uh, it doesn't post. No posting, and but have you gone through all the troubleshoot? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure, yeah? <laughs> have you followed any tutorial uh, specifically? Yeah, yeah, while at the same time. Okay, and when you say not posting, you're not getting signal on your monitor? Mm -hmm. And no beeps sound, no it's nothing? It's, you see the fans and everything. Beeping. Okay, cool. So you're okay for this to be recorded That's and perfect. tutorial, yeah? All right, nice one. And it took me 30 seconds to troubleshoot and fix this because of one huge, probably the biggest unforgivable mistake he could have done as a first time builder. Let's check it out. Hey Nip Action, welcome. My name is Ash from In My Tech, and on this channel, I want to help you improve your relationship with tech. So do your thing. Now, this client, Juma and his brother, built this PC together. They did a few troubleshooting video tutorial and they could not find the solution, so he got in touch with me. So one of the first things I like to ask a person is, did you do a post-test power on self-test outside of the case before putting things back into the case? He goes, yes, they did, but they did not get any posts or no display on the monitor but they still went ahead and put all the stuff back into the case. That's double whammy. It's a no, no, you never do this. If you don't get post outside of the case, you stop there because something is problematic. Anyway, they went and uh, did this still. However, they did a few troubleshoot video tutorial quests and then they breadboarded the whole thing, meaning they removed everything out of the case again, restarted from scratch, including applying new thermal paste, you know, putting the CPU, the RAM, the GPU, the power supply, everything again, and still no post or no display. Ergo, he got in touch with me. So the good news is all the parts are brand new and they're still within return warranty to the seller and or the manufacturer, which is great news. Now, I was unable to uh, diagnose his issue when he dropped it off to me because I was just on my way to drop off the 4k video pc built check out the video up there to the client and i've just come back recently so i started on this today and it took me 30 seconds to figure the problem out and it was just the most probably <laughs> the most stupidest the most overlooked the most ridiculous mistake i've ever seen anybody do Yes, he's a first time builder and it can happen but even as a first time builder following a tutorial there's some basic stuff which you shouldn't really get wrong and I mean they did build this whole thing that means they have some sort of skills at least for a tutorial it's baffling by the way he's okay with his video so we're gonna do a bit of uh, tongue lashing if you don't mind so what did I do the first thing I did as is I just turn on the machine just to have a quick look and this will give you a good indication uh, what to expect as you can see in the background right now I'm gonna go get out of the way so you can see hopefully there uh, we've got the computer turning on, the LED lights are on, fans are spinning, but there's no display on the monitor. Let me quickly just make sure we've got the right, you know, um, connection and the right input, so HDMI. So as you can see, there's nothing happening. We don't have any beep codes neither because there's no speaker on there, but some motherboards don't have beep codes for a successful post anyway. So. I had a quick look and yeah, some people did complain that there's a bit of a mess of a spaghetti cable management happening, which is a bit of an issue, but that should not prevent your computer from posting. So initially I had a quick look and it looked like, you know, all the plugs, all the cables are actually plugged in the right place. Nothing is out of place really and truly. Then I did my basic stuff. I thought I was going to have to breadboard the whole thing because he told me he already breadboarded. So I thought I might have to reverse engineer to find out. And then I started doing basic check, which is what baffles me. Guys, please don't do this. And if you know what's the problem by now, try to put in the comments below before you know we reveal the solution. And here is what I did. I offed it, yeah, as you do, from the back. 
So, and what you should always do, just press and hold the power button for a few seconds to discharge any static electricity because I wanted to go inside. You should wear an anti-wrist bracelet if you have one for anti-static stuff, but I tend not to because I touched the case. This is plugged in but not switched on. And then I was having a little rummage inside. I was checking cables, you know, the CPU plug, the GPU, sorry, the um, 24 pin, the GPU, um, and I was checking, you know, everything. And then I just, I said, what? Hang on. What's going on? What? Why is this coming? No. I go, no. No. No, 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 it can't be. What may have happened? Because he did tell me he removed everything outside and he put it back. And maybe when he put it back this time, he forgot to put these back in and click it in, okay? Because he did also bring me his graphics card separately in a box just for the transport, which is fine. I had to put this in and I had to plug in the PCI, sorry, the um, GPU cable, yeah? But no, surely. Nah, come on, are you serious? And let's put it back. I mean, I was also checking the configuration, you know, uh, slot number two and slot number four. So I was going, that can't be it. I'm sure no one no one is going to make that mistake. Come on, we're still in one shot. If I can put this back in there. And we're going to do the magical thing, which is clicking it, yeah? I go, that is not possible. Now, these tabs are one of those tabs where it is only a tab on one side, the other side doesn't move, which could be an, e a an issue, but there you go. I've clicked it in. Now, in number four, because usually this is the sequence, two and four. I'm having a problem locating this. There you go. I go, surely, that can't be it. That can't be that, can it? But let's see. Let's just see. We switch it on the back. And we press on. And no, we're not going to get display. No chance. But just in case, just in case, I'm going to press on the delete key to enter BIOS. Just in case. We've got a small white LED light there. Oh, there's an input signal. Wait, no, 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 no. 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 No, 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 no. I was flabbergasted. Can you see this? No. Are you telling me that you build this whole computer from scratch? You follow tutorials. You placed the RAM, not inserted and clicked it, but you just placed the RAM there and you thought that was it. And then it didn't post, no display. You remove everything outside, you reapply thermal paste, you may have or may not have done the RAM, and you give it to me. No, no, no. The one, the one benefit of the doubt I'm going to give him is perhaps, perhaps, when they did something before, they did something wrong, the RAM was probably inserted, was probably clicked in, okay? And it must just have been something silly because when they came with a graphics card outside, I plugged it in, I plugged it everything correctly. Maybe there was a buildup of static electricity. I don't know what it is. But that was it. That was it. <laughs> okay, ain't it? Anyway, bashing over. I've done some stupid things in my life in builds as well. And there was one specific video I did where I plugged in the CPU pin plug, you know, the wrong way. And it didn't turn on because if there's no power to the CPU, then the motherboard is not going to initialize. You're not going to get any BIOS. But this is exactly what happened here, that the RAM was placed, not clicked. So the system wasn't detecting RAM. No. And perhaps if you had a beep code speaker, you may have gotten some beeps, maybe. Because by default, sometimes it's not always input. But this is it. This is it. And what are the specs of this PC? I'm going to tell you now. It is a CPU, uh, Intel Core i3-9100F. Uh, the motherboard is an MSI B365M Pro Dash VD Hedge. And you've got 16 gig of RAM. You've got two drives, a crucial uh, SSD and a normal drive, one terabyte. And then the graphics card is a GTX 1660 Super 6GB OC, right, from Gigabyte. And the case is an MSI MAG Vampiric 010. And the PSU is a Corsair CXM 450 Watt 80 plus uh, bronze certified three module power supply. The whole thing costs about 471 pounds and 46 pence. I mean, seriously, look, guys, I'm going to off this, yeah? 
Um, now, the reason we are into BIOS is because he hasn't been able to put any operating system on the drive yet. Fair enough. I've already sent him this short clip video to tell him this is what you've done. No, actually, I didn't tell him what he did. I told him that I fixed it, and it's really silly. He's okay to be tongue-lashed, at least. But is this an acceptable common mistake? I mean, what kind of tutorial could you be following that you don't know, or the person didn't say, when you insert it, you have to click it in. Click it in! <sighs> okay. I'm thankful that I don't have to do a long troubleshoot. In fact, we were going to do a live troubleshoot video on this and I've already announced it on the channel because I wanted to show the process of the logistics and the order of troubleshooting a no power on or no pause like this because we are specializing in this field on this channel. By the way, we have a Discord service you can join us. We do these every now and then and hopefully you can join in. Now, the point is, it is coming more and more obvious to me that many people that I get behind the scenes, you know, in my local area and online questions that we get for troubleshooting, they are missing out on basic stuff which can resolve their problem. A lot of brand new parts being put together first time and no PC post, no display. So we are going to have to do something about it. So I'm inviting you to join us on In My Tech, join us on our live troubleshoot and we're going to be doing regular PC building, hopefully, we're going to also try to bring something new to the channel, which is get people's wishes for a specific gaming PC built by the audience, by the viewers, do it live, and then give it back to the audience with some sort of funding, obviously, from you guys to help out. I don't know how it's going to work out logistically, but that's the plan. So, thank you so much for tuning in. My name was Ash, and if you want to know how to do better things, there's going to be a couple of videos on this side or this side, I don't know. And make sure you also click that subscribe button. Make sure you also use my affiliate button link below to help out the channel without any cost to you extra. Thanks a million. My name is Ash from My Tech. Until next time, peace out.